I come with our Wednesday special message. And uh, today I come to briefly talk about one part of what we call wisdom, which is the conscience, the right conscience. And as I say this, I want to briefly read from two portions. One comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 10. It says, verse 2, It is natural for the wise to do the right thing and for fools to do the wrong thing. The Good News Version says that it is natural for the wise to do the right thing and for fools to do the wrong thing. The Reformation Bible says the wise is inclined to do the right thing and so is the fool to do the wrong thing. Now, that is Ecclesiastes chapter 10 verses 2. But then he makes, before that, in chapter 9, he makes the following teaching. He says in verse 13, There is something else I saw, a good example of how wisdom is regarded in this world. Verse 14, There was a little town without many people in it. A powerful king attacked it. He surrounded it and prepared to break through the walls. Someone lived there who was poor, but so clever that he could have saved the town. But no one thought about him. Praise the Lord. Verse 16, I have always said that wisdom is better than strength. But no one thinks of the poor as wise or pays attention to what they say. It is better to listen to the quiet words of a wise man than to the shouts of a ruler at a council of fools. Then he concludes, this is what I want us to listen to. Wisdom does more good than weapons, but one sinner can undo a lot of good. Praise the Lord. Wisdom does more good than weapons. Now, there are three things that we love in this world and often make us fail. Struggle, quarrel, conflicts arise out of them. The three. And they are the traps even the devil wanted to use to tempt Jesus. One of them was food. And it is still today. Food, food, the stomach can cause trouble. And people spend a lot of energy to have food, which is okay, because we need to survive. The second one is property, owning property. Resources to be up in abundance around us. And this one makes us kill one another. We even fail to look at each other as valuable, as noble, as a royal nation. Christians and non-Christians alike suffer because of that. Now the third one is in two forms, authority and power. These are things that we concentrate on. We want to be with authority. We want to impose ourselves on others and that others may submit to us and not us submit to them. We want to have the power to order, to make instructions and want them to be established immediately. We want to show we have the power to lift somebody up or to bring him down. There is a problem with that. And we forget one thing. We forget wisdom. But this man is telling us this morning that wisdom does more good than weapons. 
weapons are, are used to get the three. When we want food, we can go and rob with our weapons. When we want authority, we can do a, a coup and we get the authority. We can kill those who have been in authority. Weapons can bring forth resources. We loot and grab. But the gentleman here, the writer of Ecclesiastes, who thought to be Solomon, the wisest man says, wisdom does more good than weapons. Praise the Lord. Simple message. You don't have to struggle for all these things before you struggle for wisdom. Because he has made an illustration here in verse 1, chapter 10. Dead flies can make a whole bottle of perfume stink. So does little stupidity cancel out greatest wisdom. That's the message I wanted to bring to you this morning. Let us take hold of wisdom. Let us ask wisdom to give us a good conscience. Then we shall do the right things. We shall live in the right world. This is my message for you this morning on Deja TV. Thank you, our dear viewers. This is once again Reverend Canon Geoffrey Mwanguzi with a message to you this morning. Think through your life. Prioritize wisdom, and wisdom will bring the rest. May God bless you.